Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 3. Last we left off, I suck at video games. Surprising absolutely no one. <laughs> I just noticed the boxes over there are very similar on the ceiling over there. Uh, similar to where things, how things looked in the Geth Consensus. That is just a random thing that occurred to me, I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. Where... So there should be a certain someone hanging out around somewhere. Okay, I went in the exact opposite direction that I needed to go in. So I'm going to go back over this way, see if I can locate certain someone. Let's see. Ah, here we are. <laughs> I love this one. Enjoying your shore leave, Javik? I have been asked to take part in a feat. I am told it is a great honor and will boost morale for the war. Hmm. Who says it will? Ah, Commander Shepard! Oh no. I didn't realize you were coming too. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. You can play yourself. I think I'm pretty good at that, yes. Attention! The Prothean is on set. Someone tell the stunt double he's been demoted. We have the real Shepard now. Oh. All right, places everyone. Quickly, quickly. Cue the backdrop. What? Roll count. What are we looking at here? Oh my god. And action. Commander Shepard, thank you for coming. The urgent hour of doom which we all urgently Wait. face draws near. Urgently so. Their counselors? What? But there is hope. The council understands you recently found a Prothean in a refrigerator and defrosted him. What? Uh, sure. Yeah. He was in the freezer, right behind the Varen roast. Ah, you die now! What? Not yet. That line comes later. The Vorcha counselor will kindly refrain from further interruptions. This I is how we make him informed about the purpose of this feat. Possibly. Now then, oh wise Prothean elder, what wisdom of the ages can you share with us? Hmm. Solarian kidney is best served at room temperature. It is even better when the Solarian is still alive. The fear adds spice. Oh my. Prothean no like you. <laughs> Did someone say Prothean? This one is familiar with enkindling. This one has enkindled multiple females across Wait, the Blasto? Galaxy. Blasto! About time you showed up! The galaxy is under attack by Reapers! If only someone had warned us about them years ago! This one tried. This one was ignored. This one's efforts fell on obstructed auditory. Uh, actually that was me. Sovereign, Saren, you might have heard of them. Mm -hmm. Yes, and Blasto here destroyed half the Citadel, putting them down. But even he's just one Hanar. Mm -hmm. And now we've asked Commander Shepard and his Prothean partner here to assist. His? This one did not read that far into the script. This one does not share top billing. Ha uh ha. -huh. What? But it's Blasto 7. Blasto goes to war. Think of the children. <laughs> In my cycle, your kind were nothing more than appetizers. Would you prefer to be boiled or fried? Prothean, no like you! <laughs> this one has found his motivation. Very well. Commander Shepard and Prothean partner of undetermined ethnic origin. Welcome to the Spectre Club. Spect You're an idiot! Um, yeah. <laughs> Prothean partner of undetermined ethnic origin. It's a Prothean! You piece of uh. I've been in the club for three years now. Correct. But you are not an Ultra Spectre Elite 4000 Deluxe. This one is a 7000. This one has less recoil and faster load time. Uh -huh. Where is the airlock so I may throw you out of it? <laughs> we don't have a prop for that. They cue the sound effects. Change the backdrop. Oh. Huh. Look! It's Sovereign Half Brother Sluggard! And he's looking Sluggard. for some payback. Oh my Kill god. The stunt oh. Your line. Say your line. 
You'll die now. Oh Good. no, the Vorta Counselor is indoctrinated. Oh. This one is the hero of the Citadel. This one has an incendiary projectile with the Counselor's name on it. Uh, this one is the hero of the Citadel. <laughs> I'll handle it. Shepard. This one insists. Uh, but this I'm... This one doesn't care. I'm the star. This one wishes he was still frozen in the refrigerator. Oh, wow. May we go now, Commander? Oh, did this one upset you? I'm sorry. Strike the set. Tell casting we'll need a new Vorcha. Prepare for Blasto 8. Blasto cures the genophage. Is this really how movie making is made? Probably. Especially in this day and age. Alright, well, I think that actually takes care of... Let's see. What do we have to do? Yeah, I think that's take care of everything that we've got to do out here. So, let's go back... The real to the apartments. So that was a real surreal uh, look into how things go. And <laughs> how the Blasto videos are made. I'm sorry, I got a little distracted there. Alright, let's go back to the apartment. And go back to checking our emails, because I'm sure that we've got some new ones. You have received a new message. See? I told ya. I know these things. I know everything about this game because I haven't forgotten anything. Shut up! I try to pursue the uh, friend meetups in this game, the squad mate uh, meetups, very deliberately. Oh yeah, I do have the one with Garrus still. Hmm. I'll have to get to that one in a bit. Steve. Shepard. Now we've got a little downtime on the Citadel, I wanted to share something with you. I'm taking the shuttle down to the Silver Sun Strip. Meet me there. From Jack! Shep! I hear the Silver Sun Strip place has a, has a combat simulator and I felt like kicking the crap out of something. Get your ass down here if you're game. Shepard, I thought it might be nice to spend some time away from the Normandy. I don't have anything particular in mind. Perhaps we can meet at your apartment and then decide from there? From Talizora. Shepard, next time we're on the Citadel, I'd love to come by. No rush, but it's nice to have a place there that you can call home. That's true. So, we can go back to inviting people up. Let's see. Oh, wait. Hmm. Before we do that, I probably should go meet up with Garrus. <laughs> Some of you know already. Oh, what am I doing? How could I possibly... You know, I'm sorry. I almost left this place without changing my clothes, and that would have just been a damn shame. Not that I have a lot of uh, great outfits here exactly, but... I think this one will be appropriate for where we're going. I mean, after all, we're meeting up with Garrus. Now, if you're playing as a male Shep, or if you have not romanced him, this scene plays out very differently. There will be a female Turian nearby, and you can see what you can do to hook him up with her. But seeing as the uh, situation is a little bit different. Let's see about going over. You people just fucking blocking the way. That's great. Awesome. Okay. So. Hopefully, yes, less uh, dead arms dealers. No funny business, I'm fucking Commander Shepard. What you think you're gonna be doing, huh? What you think you got on me, mister? You can also play some of the casino games here, especially if you didn't get the chance to before during the uh, DLC mission. So, pardon me a second. I'm just going to make a save right here. For my own reasons. <laughs> that was a lovely dance move that you just did, sir. Alright, let's wait for Garrus. 
Things are going to be definitely very different in the femship that has romanced Garrus story. What the hell is that? Oh, okay. Hey. And there's a female Turian. So, a Turian on shore leave. You come here often? Wait a second. <laughs> Smirking at the female Turian, huh? Is this huh? that uh, first date thing we talked about? <laughs> Got it. Yes. Yeah. You dorks. Oh, I come here often. Hmm. Good place to blow off steam. Scenery's not bad either. Excuse you. Though the view in front of me is even better. Mm -hmm. That's supposed to melt a girl's heart? No, but this voice is. Damn right. I'm Garrus Vicarian, code name Archangel. All round Turian bad boy and dispenser of justice in an unjust galaxy. Sounds about right. Also, I kill Reapers on the side, and you are. Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Hmm. Hmm. Shepard, huh? I might have heard a few things about you. Oh. Oh. Flatter me. Word is you're smart. Sexy. A wicked shot. Also, you kill Reapers on the side, too. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And do most girls fall for that? Well, sure, you know. This voice and, uh... And, um... <laughs> I'm running out of banter here, Shepard. Now, oh, come Make on. Make it up. Remember, we just met. Right. Hmm. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. All the girls fall for it. Let me show you. Well, What are you doing? It'll be fun. No, oh, no, 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 no. Shepard can't dance, you know that. Been taking lessons on the side. Mm hmm. You're gonna pay for this later. Indubitably. Come on, Shepard. Promises, promises. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> I love that she hooks her heel on his leg like that. <laughs> Look at these dorks. And you know that he had to learn dancing from vids. Hmm. I don't believe they have tango on the Turian homeworld. Well, especially not now. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, hello again, James. <laughs> Look at them. They work so why did they why did gratuitous butt shot? That was not necessary. They've got such great chemistry together. Even though this is all programmed. <laughs> And sometimes stiff as a result of that, but still. Yes, this is why I put her in the dress. So, tell me, think a girl would fall for that? Oh hell yes! Oh hell yes! Oh, oops. <laughs> I see you've been putting that reach and flexibility to good use. You know it, and it gets even better when you try it in bed. Oh, she has now embedded her leg in him. I mean, I can't blame her, but. So yeah, that was a lot of fun. I would have saved that for last, but I admit I don't know if these things expire. I wouldn't imagine that they would. But yeah, while we're here, I think we can technically play some of these games? No? Oh, we, yeah, wait, wait. Alright. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. You could put things like on like all reds or all blacks. I'm pretty similar to normal. Uh Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Nope. I lost money on that. 
Aw, well. Alright. And... There we go. Hmm. Really? Fucking really. Ooh, That's rigged. Hmm. Place your bets. All right, let's see how this works. Hey, not bad. Hey, I actually fucking won something. I think I'm gonna be done with this. I lost way too much credits on that. <laughs> I am not a good gambler. I am terrible at gambling. I don't know why I gambled. Oh, hey, look, another place to gamble. Who am I going to bet on? Tuna fish dog, tiger bite, Tuchankan princess, and optimistically will win. Optimistically, we'll win. Live hollow feed starts soon. Okay, let's see. Optimistically, we'll win. Come on. You can do it, buddy. No. Oh. Oh, I was actually wondering about that. Okay. I'll give it another shot, then. Let's see. Easy on the run coal. Run coal. Uh, something clever, tuna fish dog, or tastes like chicken. Ah! Uh, hmm. Well, tuna fish dog just won the rast last one, so. Get your pets in. Something clever. Nice, Gonna take that fucking risk. Why not? Probably completely wrong. Oh? Oh no! Oh. It was Tuna Fish Dog again? Tuna Fish Dog wins! Okay. Well. Live feed! Baron race starts soon! Okay. Well. That's enough gambling for this person. I'm not go so good at the gambles. So I think I'm just gonna head out of here. Oh yeah, on the upper level here. Okay. Thanks so much for doing this now. I know you're Okay. So not bad. You're out there risking your life on the front line. At least I can do this Huh. Okay, people are expediting little requests. Alright. So yes, that was the uh That was the Garrus mission. Garrus mission. The Garrus date for the Citadel, and it's the one that as soon as every Garrus, uh, fangirl and fanboy, whoever played as a femship that romanced him, everyone went nuts. So can we expect more from you? Uh, was this... that's not the correct action, is it? No. Because it was so fucking perfect. There's such dorks, and like I was saying before, like, you know that he had to have spent a lot of time actually putting everything together for that. Like, he had to have studied dancing in order to protect to just on the premise of impressing Shepard. Like there's no other reason for him to learn how to do that. There's no military benefit, there's no C sec benefit to learning. So he had to have spent time learning how to do this. Like he does everything else for this romance. You have received a new message. That's great. I'll check it out in a second. But uh yeah, no there there is there is so much to love about it, and they did such a great job with it. This is such a fan appreciation DLC. We get to see the things that we wanted to see, especially with the romances, you get a little something extra special. Well, I'm going to put her back in her preferred casual uh, outfit here, and I'm going to tackle some of the other squadmate meetups on the next installment of Let's Play Mass Effect 3. 
So this is going to be pretty exciting. There's, and then of course, obviously there's the third segment where the party actually happens. <laughs> Hope to see you next time.